Hi everyone, let us solve for x. First, let's divide through by x root 36, okay? So, we have x root of, that is this divided by x root of 36. This divided by x root of 36. This divided by x root of what? 36, all right? Now, when this is divided by itself, you will have 1. So, we have 1 plus note that when you have root a divided by root b this is equal to root a divided by b so that means that we can rewrite this as x root of 24 divided by 36 is equal to x root of 16 divided by 36 now we have 1 plus, this is the same thing as, when 24 is divided by 12, we have 2. So we have 2 over 36 divided by 12, we have 3, is equal to x root of, when 4 divides 16, we have 4, 36 divided by 4, we give us 9. Now, we have 1 plus x root of 2 divided by 3 is equal to x root of, now 4 is same thing as 2 squared, and 9 is same thing as 3 squared. We have, note, before that I want to explain something, note that when you have a x root of a, alright, let me write it all, or n root of a, alright, this is equal to a to the power of 1 over n, all right? So that simply means that this can be written as 1 plus 2 over 3 raised to the power of 1 over x, right? And this can be written as, this is still the x root of, so this is 2 divided by 3, everything raised to the power of 2, yeah. Now, if this is the first time you are coming across this channel, please click on the subscription button, turn on your notification bell, so that you don't miss our amazing videos. We upload daily, yes. So please tune in at your convenience to watch our new uploads. And give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. Thank you very much. So let's continue. Now, from here, we have 1 plus 2 over 3 raised to the power of 1 over x okay, is equal to 2 over 3 raised to the power of 2, everything raised to the power of 1 over x, right? Raised to the power of 1 over x. Now, we have, note that when you have a to the power of m raised to the power of n, you can as well express this as a to the power of n raised to the power of m. Yes. So, that simply means that we can write this as 1 plus 2 over 3 raised to the power of 1 over x is equal to 2 over 3 raised to the power of 1 over x, everything squared. Okay? Now, I want us to look closely. You will notice that we have 2 over 3 to the power of 1 over x and 2 over 3 to the power of 1 over x. So, we can say, let 2 over 3 to the power of 1 over x be equal to y. That means that if we substitute this in place of 2 over 3 to the power of 1 over x, we are going to have 1 plus y is equal to y squared. Now, if we should take this to the other side so that we have 0, okay, because this is a quadratic equation, we are going to have y squared, now plus y will cross to become minus y, and plus 1 will cross to become minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, we have a quadratic equation, and in this quadratic equation, a is equal to coefficient of y squared, which is 1. b is equal to coefficient of y, which is minus 1. c is equal to coefficient, um, the constant, which is minus 1 as well. Now, we are going to solve this using the quadratic equation formula. And the quadratic equation formula states that y, which is what we are looking for, is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a, 
okay so if that should be the case now let's continue from here recall that our a recall that our a is one our b is minus one and our c is minus one as well so we are going to have y is equal to minus b that is minus minus one right minus bracket minus one plus or minus square root of b squared that is minus one squared excuse me minus four ac four multiplied by a which is one multiplied by c which is what minus one okay everything divided by two a that is two multiplied by one all right so our uh, y is equal to minus sorry minus minus we give us plus so we are going to have one plus or minus square root of minus 1 squared is still 1, then minus 4 times minus 1 is minus 4, everything divided by 2. So y is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus minus becomes what? Plus, okay? Divided by 2. Note that we are not looking for the value of y. Actually, we are looking for the value of x. So see how we are going to get x from y, all right? So I would like you to stay tuned. Now, y is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Okay. Now, have you given us a thumbs up yet? If not, please do that because I'm sure you are enjoying this video. Okay. So that means that we have two values of y. The first one is that y is equal to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 and the second one is y is equal to 1 minus root 5 divided by 2 now the value of x is um actually going to supposed to be positive yes because to solve x you are going to introduce log and we cannot solve log of a negative number so this will be rejected okay that is this second one is rejected so we only have this as the value of y so let me clean that now, this is the only value of y we are going to use to get the value of x. Now, recall, recall where we said let y be equal to 2 over 3 to the power of x. Yes, sorry, I've cleaned that. Recall where we said let y equals 2 over 3 to the power of 1 over x, sorry. So, that means that anywhere we see y, we replace it with 2 over 3 to the power of 1 over x. So, we now have 2 over 3 raised to the power of 1 over x is equal to 1 plus root 5 to the power of 2. Now, remember what I said, that we're going to solve this using log reading, which is the main reason why I, I rejected the negative value, because there is, log, there is no logarithm of any negative number. Okay? All right. Now, we introduce log. Log 2 over 3 to the power of 1 over x is equal to log 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. Note that any time the variable you are looking for is your power. You need to use your log reading to solve it. So we are going to remember that when you have log a to the power of b is equal to b multiplied by log a. So that simply means that means that we can write this as 1 over x log 2 over 3. Okay? is equal to log 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. Now, note that when you have log a over b, it is equal to log a minus log b. So that means that this is the same thing as log 2 minus log 3, and this is the same thing as log 1 plus root 5 minus log 2. Okay? So that is the meaning. So we have 1 over x. To get 1 over x, we are going to divide through by log 2 over 3. So 1 over x will be equal to log 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 divided by log 2 over 3. All right? Now, let's continue. Excuse me. So this is what we have. We can now write 1 over x is equal to 
So this is same thing as log 1 plus root 5 minus log 2, right? Log 2 divided by, and this is same thing as log 2 minus log 3. Yeah, so that we'll have enough space to work with. We are close to the answer anyway. All right, so 1 over x. If 1 over x is equal to this, that means x should be the inverse of what we have on the right-hand side of the equation. So x will be equal to log 2 minus log 3 divided by log 1 plus root 5 minus log 2. Okay? So we have that x is equal to log 2 is 0 0.3010, right? Minus log 3 is 0 0.477 divided by, now log 1 plus root 5. We can get that using our calculator. So log 1 plus root 5. We give us 0 0.5100 approximately. 0 0.5100 okay all right minus log 2 is 0 0.3010 all right now let's solve this that means x is equal to so we have 0 0.3010 minus 0 0.477 divided by 0 0.5100 Zero zero minus zero point three zero one zero. Now, if we solve this, we are going to have minus zero point eight four two one approximately. If we approximate the answer to four decimal places, it's going to be minus zero point eight four two one. So that is the value of our x. If you watch to this stage, note that. I am grateful. I would like you to give me a thumbs up in the comment section. That would tell me that yes, you watched till the end. Thank you so much for watching.